Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video and today I'm going to do my favorite tag of all time which is the unpopular bookish opinions book tag. <laughs> so so much for giving me 1,000 subscribers yay I am so happy like one year ago if you would have told me that I would once get 1,000 subscribers even though it's like a tiny number still like think about 1,000 people clicking on that subscribe button but of course compared like to huge youtubers who have like 10 million subscribers this is nothing but still I am just so happy with it I wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the support and love that you guys gave me I really want to do a Q&A video I did one when I had like my look at my my nail art Instagram account and I don't really use that account anymore so if you guys have any questions for me like book related not book related just leave them in the comments down below and uh, I will answer them in my 1k Q&A video I just have to tell you guys that I'm pre-filming a couple of videos because I'll be going to America pretty soon and it is so surreal I cannot believe that I'll be sitting in a plane going to Miami because of that I will have a couple of thumbnails and videos with the same close but I still want to be active while I'll be in America so that is why I am pre-filming these videos and pre-editing but if you guys want to follow my life Florida road trip adventure you guys have to add me to snapchat and Instagram because I will be posting so many pictures and videos and all those kinds of things I will also be vlogging uh, but I don't know when those will be up because uh, we're gonna do so many things that I don't think that I'll have time to edit a lot while I'll be in Florida and I just really want to enjoy being there and staying there but right now on to the unpopular bookish opinions tag. So let's start with the very first question and that is a popular book or series you disliked. So I'm going to show you guys the books that I was just so hyped up for and they really really let me down. First of all I have The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer. I read this book two years ago when I did not have a booktube channel. It ended on a huge cliffhanger and I still haven't read the second book and I won't. The next one is Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi and a lot of people have been telling me that I should read the second and third book as well because they are a lot better than this one but this one just did not grab my attention at all. It's a shame though because the covers are so stunning and I love the cover of Ignite Me. It's like the most beautiful cover I've ever seen but I'm not just gonna buy it because of that. <laughs> and the last book that I have for this first question is The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman because everyone said that this book was so beautiful, like it was amazing and I thought that it was really weird and very confusing. Question number two is a book or series you like but everyone else hates. For this one I picked Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I read this book back in January and I I really enjoyed myself while reading this. I really want to pick up Glass Sword, but then again, I'm just like, when will I pick up Glass Sword? I have no clue, but I did really enjoy this first book, and a lot of people actually quite hated it. Question number three, a love triangle where the main character ended up with the wrong person or an OTP that you don't like. For this one, I have to go with Belly from the Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy by Jenny Han. The third book overall was just a, a kind of weird book for me. Everything was rushed. Everything that happened was just like, what is going on? I absolutely loved the first book in the series and I definitely recommend you guys to read that one. I also enjoyed the second one but the third one was just kind of weird and I did not enjoy like how things were going on and like which relationship she had and just no. Question number four, a popular genre you don't read much. So let's start off with the genres that I actually don't read at all maybe. So first of all I have historical fiction. I really want to start reading that genre. Plus I also have science fiction which is really weird because I love science science fiction movies. I've seen Star Wars of course and The Matrix and all those kinds of things and I don't really have sci-fi books on my shelves. Like I only have Illuminae right now and I haven't read that one yet and maybe like Cinder. I have read that one but just I need more science fiction books. Then a genre that I do read but I just want to read more from is fantasy. Like I do have quite a couple of fantasy books here on my shelves but it's just kind of hard to get into so that is why I read a little bit more like contemporary I guess. Question number five, a popular character you don't like. And for this one I'm gonna pick a character that I do like but not in the way that most people like him and that is Dorian from the Throne of Glass series. I love Kale and I ship Kale and Selena so much and I don't ship Selena with Dorian and a lot of people do but I just think that Dorian like he's a really good friend 
but as a lover, he just doesn't fit with Selena, in my opinion. Question number six is a popular author you can't seem to get into, and for me, this is definitely John Green. Everyone seems to love John Green, they love his writing, they love his stories, and I'm just like, no, I just don't really like them. Whenever he'll publish a new book, I will definitely not be buying that or reading that, I'm just not interested. Question number seven, a popular trope you're tired of seeing, and that is definitely love triangles that just take over the whole book. I don't want to read a book that's only talking about a love triangle. Plus another trope that I don't like is when a girl falls in love with a bad boy and you're just standing there and you're just like, girl, don't do that. Don't. Question number eight is a popular series you have no interest in reading and two years ago I was like, yeah, I will definitely pick this series up. The covers look stunning and right now I'm just like, nope. And that is the selection series by Kira Cass plus like also the spin-off books. I've heard that a lot of people are like, this is not a good book. It's a fun book. Uh, it is like very addicting though. It's kind of like The Bachelorette and I hate those kinds of shows. I don't watch them. I uh, I think they're nonsense. I think they're super fake. Question number nine. The book is not always better than the movie and for that one I'm again going with The Fault in Our Stars. Like the movie was a decent movie. I enjoyed myself while watching it but like the book, nope. Nope. So let me know in the comments down below if you have any of these unpopular opinions too. I don't want to feel lonely. <laughs> this video was definitely not to hurt anyone's feelings. It's just my opinion. So don't leave any hate comments on like things that I've said or like maybe I disliked something that you actually really like. But you know, we all have different opinions. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye!